After 25 years of apostolate service at Gulo Archdiocese, Archbishop Emeritus John Baptist Odama today takes a new role as a caretaker of the Archdiocese after his retirement. Odama will now be replaced by Right Reverend Raphael Pomoy Wakuraj, who has been appointed as the new Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulo Archdiocese by His Holiness Pope Francis. Archbishop Wakuraj, until the appointment, was the Nebi Diocese Bishop, where he has been serving since March 2021. Just to give you a background, Archbishop Emeritus Odama served the Gulu Archdiocese for 25 years since his installation in 1999 and was the first Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu. Speaking to hundreds of Christians who turned up at St. Joseph's Cathedral in Gulu City on Friday, Archbishop Emeritus Odama announced his retirement and the new successor for the Archdiocese of Gulu. The Apostolic Theatre in Gulu has a pleasure to announce that on the 22nd March 2024, His Holiness Pope Francis has appointed the Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu, the Right Reverend Raphael Limon Mogorat, MCCJ, which is Convoy Missionary of the Heart of Jesus, until now, Bishop of Benin. The Holy Father has accepted the resignation from the personal care of the Archdiocese of Guru, presented by Archbishop John Baptist of Dama, for reaching the age limit according to Canon. In his remarks, Odama thanked everyone at the diocese for supporting his work for over two decades and asked the same should be accorded to the new Archbishop. I want to thank all of you, dear fellow brother priests, dear sisters and brothers and who are of this Archdiocese for having given me a very, very Odama has been revered as a peace icon in northern Uganda, having extensively engaged in peace talks between the government and the LRA rebel leader Joseph Kony. He has also helped broker several dialogues between various communities on land-related conflicts in northern Uganda. His contributions towards the restoration of peace saw him earn the Peace Make Prize from World Vision International in 2012 and an honorary doctorate from Gulu University in 2017. To many, his contribution was enormous, especially in the area of peace and women's emancipation. Sincerely, right from uh, the time he was made artificial, you know very well the, the issues of, uh, you know, the, the Lord resistant uh, army fighting so hard for peace to come, you know, spending his time on the streets where the young children were sleeping braving you know the night the rain and everything that alone speaks you no know, volume and then personally i think uh, he was <laughs> my mentor in so many ways I think without him, maybe I would have not even come to Bishop Angelo Nekukole, the, the, the head teacher. But he believes so much in leaders that they can do wonders. And to other members of the Light in Acholi subregion, the appointment came as a shock as they had anticipated a son from the soil would be appointed this time to head the Archdiocese of Gulu. This announcement 
has not been exciting because it is not the expectation of the people. People expected perhaps even uh, persons, not uh, this one here that has been announced. People expected that this time maybe we will get the sound of the soil to become the Archbishop of Gulu. But the way it has come now, everybody is now quiet. And what do people say? What makes it? What has been said has been said because Pope is the overall. When he says, when he announces, nobody can undo. But I want to assure the, the people of Uganda, people of Hulu, that we expected this time and this person from this side. For now, Archbishop Emeritus John Baptist Odama will be the caretaker of Gulu Archdiocese until Pope Francis fixes a date for the ordination of the new Archbishop Julius Ochungi reporting for Actually Trumpet TV.